This is an Innistar Plus base pull-out for a 150 cabinet. It's full extension, it gives you easy access to everything outside of the cabinet, makes the most of the small spaces in your kitchen be used for bottles and cans, etc. It comes with a smooth, soft closing action. In this video, I'll be showing you the installation process for this. We suggest that this be done before the cabinet's assembled. It can be retrofitted, although this is slightly more fiddly. So first, get all of your bits and pieces out and make sure that everything tallies up with the instructions if you've got everything that you need. For this video, you will need a drill, a screwdriver, a tape measure, a pencil and a set square. So firstly, you need to line up your template at the bottom and the front of the cabinet. And then you need to drill in three positions along for the bottom runner. and then the same for the top. You can then fix your runners into position, lining up with the holes that you've just drilled. You can then repeat this for the top runner. If you then take the frame, you can put the rear corner brackets on it. It's just clip over. And the same for the top one. So you can now extend the runners and clip the frame into place on here. You must make sure the metal pin there locates over the top of the plastic clip and the same for the top. You can then secure the frame to the runners by screwing into place at the top here. And the same again for the bottom runner. So you can now measure up your door for the brackets. You need a line 138 millimetres from the bottom of the door. and another one at 508 millimetres. And then mark the centre line on here. And the same again for the bottom. You can then pilot hold on this centre point that you've marked. And you can then screw one of the brackets into position here. You can then make sure that this is aligned on the line that you've drawn. Pilot for the other two screws. and then screw into position. You can then repeat this for the bottom of the door. If you then extend the frame, you can then put the door in position. Screw into place.
and the same again for the bottom. You can then assemble the rest of your cabinet. You can then make side to side adjustments by loosening these screws off and sliding the door one way or the other. And you can alter the depth. The door sits away from the cabinet by loosening these two screws off again and then adjusting the screw in the middle here. So this is the finished product. It will give you years of service as long as you take care of it. Don't use any oil or lubricants on the runners and don't use any harsh abrasives when cleaning it. Thank you for watching.